super volcano that is a continent killer and it blows every six to eight hundred thousand years and everyone dies the caldera of a volcano like yellowstone isn't just a pretty place with hot springs it's a sleeping giant called a super volcano that can explode hugely under yellowstone national park this huge force is like a sleeping beast that could wake up at any time what we're seeing is not only interesting but it could also be dangerous. Scientists are worried about a 100-foot-wide crack that has shown up under Yellowstone. This big change has made it 320% more likely that an eruption will happen. Such an event would have terrible results, so let's get into the specifics. First, let's check out the Norris Geyser Basin, which is 115,000 years old and Yellowstone's oldest thermal area. A mere 1,000 feet below the surface, this place gets very hot, 459 degrees Fahrenheit. The steamboat geyser used to be hard to predict, but since March 2018, it has been more busy, erupting up to once a week. In 2018, it erupted 32 times, which broke the old record. The next year, it erupted 48 times, which beat that record. Does the 320% rise in the risk of an earthquake have anything to do with this extra activity? The fact that the geyser acts in strange ways is only one piece of the story. Scientists have seen the Norris Basin move in a steady way. Over eight years, an 18-meter strip rose almost five inches, then fell almost three inches, and then rose again at a rate of six inches per year. This rise was stopped by a strong 4.9 magnitude earthquake in March 2014. Since then, the ground has gone up and down, rising and falling, until it started to fall again in 2019. The basin is about five inches taller now than it was in 2000. What else, though, makes this risk higher? The clue is in the way supervolcanoes work. It has never happened before, for Yellowstone's supervolcano to erupt. The 20 known supervolcanoes pose the greatest environmental danger to people. Yellowstone has only erupted three times in 2.1 million years. The most recent earthquake, which happened 640,000 years ago, was very big. If it happened again, toxic gases would destroy fields and knock out power in the Midwest, putting the whole country into a long winter as a cloud of toxins blocks out the sun for years. Grand Teton National Park started to show cracks in 2018. Because of this, Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point had to be closed so that safety checks could be done. When it erupted hundreds of years ago, Yellowstone's supervolcano threw 240 cubic miles of rock, ash, and volcanic dust into the air making a huge hole in the ground. Like rocks or nuclear war, this supervolcano is a threat that could wipe out all life on Earth. This threat is not taken as seriously as it should be, even though it is very big. Every year, the Federal Flight Administration spends more than $7 billion on flight safety. However, supervolcanoes get much less attention even though they have a much greater chance of destroying everything. It was known in the 1960s that Yellowstone had a huge active volcano, but it wasn't until the 1980s that people fully knew how dangerous it really was. This volcano could erupt with thousands of times more force than Mount St. Helens did in 1980, and feet of ash could cover the northern Rockies. Geologists are very interested in what's going on below Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs. Their goal is to find out if and when Yellowstone will explode again, as well as how bad an event it would be. A big eruption would be very rare, but have a big effect. It would be a black swan, event that could have a huge effect on people and the world. Even though it's not likely, the chance can't be ruled out. New studies have found the building that was hidden below Yellowstone. Two big magma tanks sit on top of each other under the park. They are made of lava from deep inside the earth. The upper chamber is full of gaseous, explosive magma. 
It is on top of the lower chamber, which is where lava from the mantle cools and forms when it reaches the crust. Scientists can now model how fast volcanoes will rise over millions of years thanks to a new study in geophysical research letters that describes this two-tiered magma system. This backs up what other research has found about the two magma chambers under the park. Geologists made an MRI-like picture of these spaces by measuring how fast seismic waves move through the rock below the surface. The name supervolcano might not mean much, but Yellowstone is actually a caldera, which is a volcano with a big hole. The land around Yellowstone has been changed by these calderas, also known as mountain eaters, for millions of years. The last big explosion in the area was 63,000 years ago, and the first one happened 2.1 million years ago. Is another one coming up soon with a 320% higher risk? Volcanologists try to figure out how the lava moves beneath Yellowstone because they know that volcanoes don't always do what they're supposed to. The Yellowstone system has many small eruptions. The last lava flow happened 70,000 years ago, but there is still a chance for a huge explosion. The 50-kilometer-wide caldera is full of the remains of past explosions. Even though Yellowstone's supervolcano is not active, it is closely watched for any signs of activity. Between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes happen every year in the park. Most of them are small, but they are important for knowing how the magma chamber is expanding. Recent seismic action shows that new magma is entering the reservoir, which makes things even more dangerous. A supervolcano eruption would destroy huge areas. Feet of ash would cover the Midwest and change temperatures around the world. A disaster like this would destroy farms, damage infrastructure, and make breathing in ash very dangerous. All over North America, flights would be stopped, and the ash could damage a lot of things. Scientists are still keeping an eye on Yellowstone's volcanic activity because they know what a huge danger it poses. Even though a huge explosion is still not likely, the risk is real, even. Though the volcano seems to be sleeping, it is very important to understand and get ready for this possible disaster. What do you think about the 320% higher chance of a quick eruption at Yellowstone? Tell us in the comments. Join us on this exciting trip and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Let's look into Yellowstone's natural details in more depth. The ground above often rises and falls as magma from deep inside the earth cools in the chamber under the park. This changing process has been going on for thousands of years. In the case of the Pitchstone Plateau, the last eruption from the magma chamber happened about 70,000 years ago. Most of Yellowstone's eruptions have been smaller lava flows. However, there is always the chance of a huge explosion. Geologists are most worried about the possibility of an explosion that will form a caldera. The Yellowstone caldera is 50 kilometers wide and 70 kilometers deep. It is full of the remains of past fires, such as the Lava Creek Tuff which is made up of thick volcanic debris. This place shows proof of how powerful the last big eruption was. Yellowstone is dormant right now, but experts are keeping a close eye on everything it does. The force that has been building up under the park for thousands of years has not been let out yet, and just because the volcano is sleeping doesn't mean it will never wake up. When and how bad it will be are the most important questions. A Yellowstone eruption that forms a caldera would be a huge environmental danger. This kind of event would have a huge effect on people and the world. The eruption could send volcano ash thousands of miles away, damaging many places. The ash would be so heavy that buildings would fall, crops would be destroyed, and infrastructure would be badly harmed. The explosion would also change the weather around the world. 
putting sulfur dioxide and volcanic ash into the air could cause a volcanic winter, which would block out sunshine and make temperatures drop by a lot. This cooling effect could last for years, which would ruin crops and cause food shortages all over the world. Volcanologists say that an earthquake that forms a caldera is very unlikely to happen, but if it did, the effects would be terrible. So study and constant monitoring are necessary. Scientists keep an eye on changes in the magma chamber and look for signs of an impending eruption using a variety of methods, such as tracking seismic activity and taking pictures from space. It's not just the Yellowstone supervolcano that should worry people. Another major volcanic danger is the Long Valley Caldera in California, which is close to Mammoth Mountain. About 700,000 years ago, this caldera exploded and it could erupt again in a big or small way. California also has many other volcanic areas with active molten rock zones below the surface. These add to the general risk of volcanic activity in the area. The San Andreas Fault, which is known for causing earthquakes, runs through these volcanic areas, making the natural dangers even more complicated. Volcanic activity could start if there is a big earthquake in the San Andreas Fault, which would add another level of risk. What would happen if the supervolcano in Yellowstone exploded right now? In the first phase, there would be a lot of earthquakes that would break up the rocks above the magma pool. It might take months or weeks to do this. Lava flows will stay within a 40-kilometer radius once the explosion starts and could last for weeks or months. Volcanic ash, on the other hand, would cause most of the damage. Volcanic ash, which is made up of broken rock and glass, would be thrown kilometers into the air and spread out all over the land. Depending on the time of year and weather, the northern Rockies could get several feet of ash, while other places would only get a few inches. The impact of this ash would be terrible. It would be very bad for crops, buildings would fall down, and infrastructure would be destroyed. A few inches of ash can make it hard to breathe clog sewers, and damage electricity transformers. There would be no more planes in North America, and all air travel would stop. Maybe scientists are still trying to figure out how big of an effect the Yellowstone supervolcano might have. They look at past events and use complex modeling methods to guess what might happen in the future. No matter how unclear things are, one thing is certain. A Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would be a disaster of a kind that has never been seen before. In their most recent study, experts used state-of-the-art tools to see what the magma chambers under Yellowstone look like. These areas are under a lot of pressure and are like time bombs that are about to go off. It is very scary that the upper chamber, which is full of gas-filled magma, is where a huge explosion is most likely to come from. This new study backs up past research that said Yellowstone's volcanic system is very complicated. It's hard to tell when an explosion will happen because the two magma chambers interact with each other and the Earth's crust moves around. But the fact that a supervolcano could erupt is a warning of how powerful the Earth is and how little we can control it. Scientists also look at Yellowstone and other supervolcanoes around the world and compare them. For example, Lake Taupo in New Zealand had a huge explosion about 26,000 years ago. The Toba earthquake in Indonesia about 74,000 years ago was so strong that it may have almost killed all the people who lived there at the time. Supervolcano eruptions, which happen about once every 100,000 years, have left their mark on Earth's past. With this level of regularity, there is always a chance of another eruption. Scientists agree that the effects would be very big, but they can't say exactly when they will happen. More. Earthquakes would probably be the first sign that an explosion is about to happen. Magma is moving towards the top, as shown by these earthquakes. The ground would start to swell 
making changes to the landscape that could be seen if a supervolcano was about to explode. Any eruption from a supervolcano would be 1,000 times stronger than any other explosion from a volcano. Ashes and other debris would fly around the world, changing the temperature and the way people live. The eruption could cause a volcanic winter that could cause widespread hunger and the end of society. To sum up, a supervolcano eruption at Yellowstone is not likely, but the effects that could happen are so bad that constant study and monitoring are needed. Learning about the complicated natural processes going on below Yellowstone and other supervolcanoes can help us get ready for and lessen the effects of something so terrible. The Earth's natural forces are strong and unexpected, which makes us realize how weak we are in the face of nature's might. Every time one of these events happened, the Yellowstone supervolcano rolled over on itself, covering the land around it with trees, mountains, and other features. If that happens now in Yellowstone, an earthquake that forms a caldera would be a very dangerous natural event. In a place called the Lava Creek Tuff, the 50 kilometers by 70 kilometers, Yellowstone caldera still has some traces of the last explosion. The thick pieces of volcanic rock that were left over after the explosion can still be seen. Scientists are keeping an eye on every cough and hiccup to try to guess what will happen next while Yellowstone is sleeping. The force that has been growing under the park for thousands of years has been stopped, but Yellowstone's sleep does not mean that it will never wake up. What we need to know is when and how bad it will be. Also, will it be too late? What do you think about the scary 320% rise in the chance of a quick Yellowstone eruption? Tell us in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you want more exciting material. Get ready for an exciting journey with us. Goodbye.